Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how to create 3D tracked, animated oval sabers above a car, super easy in After Effects. Let's get started. First hit track camera and let it finish analyzing the scene. Once it's done, select the points where you want your 3D camera to be, then right click and choose create null and camera. Next create a new solid layer. To stay organized, I'll name it saber and set the size to 2000 by 2000, just slightly larger than our composition. Hit OK, then move the solid layer above the track null. Now apply the Saber plugin to the layer. Now select the ellipse tool to create a circle mask. To make sure it's perfectly round and centered, move your mouse to the center of the screen. Then hold Ctrl and Shift while drawing the mask, this will give you a perfectly round, centered circle. With the mask in place, let's adjust the Saber settings so it follows the mask. Expand Render Settings and set Composite Settings to Transparent. Then expand Customize Core and change the core type to Layer Masks. Next we can adjust the Saber's look before enabling 3D and tracking it. I'll toggle off the clip so we can see the Saber more clearly, and I'll also toggle off the masks for better visuals. First let's change the Saber preset. There are plenty of presets to choose from, but I'll stick with Thin because I think it looks great. If you want something like Fire or any other style, feel free to browse through the presets until you find the one you like. After choosing the preset, we can adjust the core size, glow, and color. I'll skip the glow for now because it's enough, but in your case you can increase it or decrease on your liking. Let's quickly change the Saber color. For example, I'll set it to green. Once the preset and color are set, we can enable 3D on the Saber layer to prepare it for tracking. To make sure it's perfectly tracked in the scene, select the track null, press P on your keyboard to reveal the position property, and copy it. Then select the Saber layer and paste the position onto it. This makes the Saber follow the exact movement of the track null, keeping it perfectly aligned with your scene. Now let's toggle the clip back on and check if the Saber follows the car perfectly. Everything looks good, so we can adjust the position, rotation, and scale until it looks just right. Once you're happy with the placement, we can start animating the saber. Scroll to the beginning of the saber layer and set the end offset to 45%. Next increase the end size to make the front side of the saber a bit thicker. Then lower the start size to make the end of the saber thinner. I'll toggle off the clip once more so we can see the result clearly. That looks good to me and I also like to set the end roundness to maximum, it makes the saber's start point smoother. Now that the saber line is adjusted, we can animate it. Click the mask evolution stopwatch, then scroll to the end of the layer and set the mask evolution to 1, this makes the saber rotate once. If you want it to rotate 2 or more times, just increase the value as needed. Let's quickly preview it. The animation looks good. If you want another animated saber, simply duplicate the saber layer and adjust the scale of the new copy making it slightly smaller or larger. Now let's adjust the second saber, slightly increase the end offset to make it a bit longer at the beginning, and lower the start size to adjust the ending. Toggle the clip back on and check the animation. To make the two sabers look completely different, let's also change the color of the second saber. Hope you found this video helpful, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like.